Hello, I'm Wattinson and you may also know me as Deco Watten. We come to you with exciting new features to announce. Do you want to tell us what the features are and what we'll be covering today, Fidlo? Yeah, sure. I'm Fidlo, also known as uh, Fidlo. I'm sure you must be at least a bit curious about that intro, right? We'll talk about quick slots, Oryx Miss, and of course the new item forge. That's what everyone is expecting, and we can also have a sneak peek at the third dimension dungeon. All right, let's not waste you any more time and dive right into the quick slots. So, you remember you had two slots to store potions, right? Well, not anymore. Now you have two or three slots to store all the consumables that allow it. These quick slots will come in handy when managing all the items uh, that we'll get for Oryx Mister. Won't they, Fiddler? Sure, but there's a lot more to Oryx Mister than that. All of this, of course, will only be possible with the new Item Forge feature that we've been hearing about. The Item Forge is the new system that will allow players to recycle items into more useful ones. The Item Forge interface is divided into two main parts. Forge panel and the dismantle panel. In the dismantle panel, you can select as many items as you want to dismantle. It's important that you take your time in picking which items you want to dismantle, as you will lose those items forever after confirming the forging operation. All selectable items from your vault are shown here. You don't need to carry them. The other part of the screen is the forge panel. Here, you can pick which items you want to craft. Initially, you will have a fair amount of items about 30 of all levels of power to choose. But this list can be expanded even more if you find blueprints by playing in the realm or dungeons, allowing you to craft even more items. So, to craft an item, you select any number of items you want to dismantle and the item you want to craft with them. Yeah, but not all items are equally easy to craft. The higher its power, the more strict are its requirements. The most important requirement to craft an item is the materials it requires. All dismantable items have a certain value in materials. There are three types of materials. Common, rare and legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Okay, I had to make this joke. The rarer the item, the rarer and in higher quantity the materials they provide. In the tooltip description of the item, you'll see the quantity and rarity of the materials provided by an item. We would like to stress that materials are not stored anywhere. When you select items to dismantle, it's the sum of values for each rarity what counts. For example, if you want to craft the Amulet of Dispersion, we decide to dismantle our Pirate King's Catalyst and our Plague Poison. This is calculated as you select the items to dismantle. You don't store the materials, nor anything like that. Do you know what every forge needs? A fire. The item forge uses forge fire, a magical source of combustible goodness to craft all kinds of awesome artifacts. However, the fires need to rest after intensive use. That's why each item you craft will consume a certain amount of forge fire points. You can always see how many forge fire points you have in the top right corner of the blacksmith window. And last but not least, the way to learn new crafting recipes. Blueprints. Once used, you'll expand your collection of craftable items. Blueprints come in different rarities. The rarer the blueprint, the rarer the recipes you learn from it. Most blueprints can be dropped by enemies in the realm and dungeons, but some of them can be acquired through other means, like seasonal campaigns. Blueprints tend to contain between two and four recipes for different items of similar levels of power. As an additional bonus, you get a blueprint with recipes which you have already learned. There is a second use for them. If you dismantle blueprints at the blacksmith, they will reduce the forge fire cost of the next item you craft. And as promised, 
Here's a little more of a sneak peek at the third dimension dungeon. Cubes are one of the oldest creatures in the realm, but this has never been their native territory. Soon you'll be faced with more cubes than any cube god has ever thrown at you in all new dungeon, the third dimension. Created by Aurum, one of our UGC members, this dungeon places you in the wacky and abstract world of cubes. Face multiple bosses and get your hands on some exciting new UTs with this upcoming release. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube and Twitch channels and follow us on Instagram and all the other social media. What? Are you leaving so soon? Are you pulling an Hyperion on me? Did someone just say my name? Dude, have you tried Item Forge? It looks awesome, man. I hope everyone has lots of fun playing with it. Wait, does that mean that you're not leaving? Well, taking a look at this, I might just come back. Welcome back, man. And we'll see you, all of you guys, in the next video. Remember to play hard, stay safe. <laughs>